Welcome to this demo video of NetApp's Cloud Tiering Service. I'm Danny, a Cloud Solutions Architect at NetApp. Based on the proven Fabric Pool technology, the Cloud Tiering Service addresses storage related challenges such as fast data growth, inefficient storage utilization, implementing cloud strategies, increased expenses, and budget constraints. By seamlessly moving data between block and object storage tiers attached to your ONTAP clusters, your storage is efficiently utilized, costs are optimized, and your cloud footprint is realized. All that hassle-free. Let me show you how it works. Since the Cloud Tiering service is integrated into NetApp Cloud Manager, we'll start by navigating our browser to cloudmanager.netapp.com. Then sign up and log in. Let's click on Add Working Environment. Choose On-Premises on Tap and fill the cluster management IP and admin credentials. After clicking on Add, we'll verify the cluster's name and click Go to add the cluster as a working environment to Cloud Manager. Next, we set up tiering. Click on the Tiering tab, locate it at the header menu and find the added cluster in Cloud Tiering's dashboard. Alternatively, click on the added cluster and then set up tiering at the right panel. If it's the first time you're setting up tiering, Cloud Manager will prompt you to deploy a connector in your VPC, VNet or on-premises data center. The connector allows Cloud Manager to manage resources and processes within your environment and its location defines to where tiering is done. In our case, the connector was deployed in Azure so we'll set up cold data tiering into Azure Block. In the tiering setup phase, we provide the details for the object storage. Cloud tiering can create an object container or use an existing one. Then, we specify the storage class or access tier needed and finally select the cluster IP space to use. Only IP spaces containing intercluster logical interfaces are suitable for tiering. Next, we define which volumes should be tiered and what policies would be used. The information presented here, such as snapshot to use sized and the amount of call data, can assist you in selecting the right tiering policy. Note the tier status column showing the volumes that are not eligible for tiering, such as thick to provisioned ones. Select the tiering policy by clicking the pencil to the right of each volume. Use Cloud Snapshots to tier Cloud Snapshots data only. Great for entry-level tiering. Choose Cold Data and Snapshots to tier any type of cold data. This is the recommended policy for primary storage systems. In these policies, the Cooling Days option define when data is becoming cold and can be adjusted. When tiering data protection volumes used as snap mirror destinations, a third policy, named All Data, can be used to tier the entire volume immediately. Great option for secondary storage that reduces costs dramatically. That's it, you're ready to go. Click Close to go to the cluster dashboard and see your cluster's operational health, current savings and additional saving opportunities. Click on the ellipsis menu to manage aggregates configuration, tier additional volumes, and go into cluster info for more details and saving breaks down. From the licensing tab, you can manage your pay-as-you-go subscriptions and activate term-based bring-your-own licenses. One last thing, see that chat icon in the bottom right corner? Click it if you need any assistance from me and any members of my team. We'll get back to you shortly. Thanks for watching.